Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would do a little video on the iTech battery monitor and how to set it up. And I'm actually going to install it into one of my battery boxes because I've got another lithium um, just for camping. So in a couple of videos ago I bought one uh, 120 amp hour uh, iTech World lithium battery and with her they had a little bit of a special on so I managed to get my hands on a 54 amp one and I had a spare battery box with a hardcore battery box so I thought I'd put it in that one so what I'll do is just the reasons I'll do a little setup video um, you don't get a lot of instructions with it the instructions are actually on the website so you need to download them um, or you sort of try and set it up while you've got uh, it on your phone or your tablet or something like that so we'll just have a bit of a look-see but anyway um, so that's the battery box it's got the 54 amp hour one it's one of the hardcore ones and that's a power hub which has got the 120 amp hour and if you look at these ones well, I won't turn it on projector's got a the screen on there. I don't know whether it's going to focus all that well. But that's sitting at 13.2 and I don't know whether you can see the... it's got a line 100% so as you draw down it actually shows your percentage left in your battery. Um, because with lithium a little bit different to AGMs uh, with a flat curve every time you use an AGM um, once the power starts going out of it, it drops its voltage and then the percentage sort of goes down with that. Um, it's even got that one. So that one's, I use it a little bit. I think I charged uh, something out of it. So that's in, say, like at 100% on there. So it's got 119.8. So the hardcore box has got something similar. Now I've had this plugged in to the freezer overnight and for a couple of hours. And if you look at the, um, if we scroll through the battery monitor, she's there you go, nearly 37 amps out of it. But if we press down on this one, it shows you it's still, you know, 13 volts. They start at about 13.3, 13.4 when they're 100%. But if you look at the uh, little sort of capacity on your left, that's almost 100%. So, I mean, 54 amp battery, and using say nearly 40 amps, another 15 amps left in there. But if you've got you to use that percentage guide, or that um, that one through there, essentially, if you didn't know, you still think it's at 100%. Um, the funny thing is, if you look at that. So it's all battery types, including lithium. Well, it does show the charge level and the volts, but the problem is it doesn't show with the lithiums, because I think they're geared for, like a lot of the other ones, they're geared for AGM and wet cells and calcium, all that, where the actual voltage then corresponds to your capacity. So as that goes down, you know, when they start off AGMs 12.8, 12.7, obviously that starts sort of going down. I did have an AGM in there and that's the way it sort of worked out. So when that one was sitting at like 12.1 or thereabouts, which about 50%, that was sitting on the orange, which showed the battery was, you know, that. Whereas, you know, this one here, when I've used it on my fridge with the, the lithium in there, um, as it's gone down, you know, it's gone down to 60, 50, 40, whatever the case may be, uh, which works well. So with that, I thought I'd give these ones a go. Now, when you go and get one, that's essentially all you get, just a little sort of packet like that. And just put it up here against the white. So it's just a little monitor which shows your voltage and the capacity. They're actually geared for lithium, that's what they say. And on the back of it it's just a little connector. And you've got, uh, which I'll do a bit of an install 
on this one as well but essentially there's just a, um, a connector in there and your black and red which just goes onto your battery terminals and that then will show you at least the capacity coming out of it so what I thought I might do I've got a bit of room on there so I'll pull that out later on but I was half thinking just sort of sit it proud but I don't really want to do that so what I might do I might actually get the Dremel out and see where I've got a room and I'll actually um, I might sort of mount it in there so you can still see it if you've got it on the side or something like that at least will give you a bit of an indication of how much juice not wrong way around you got left in the battery so what I might do is I'll whack this thing on a stand and I'll actually hook it up to this one and I'll just go with the setup because the setups I had to go back to the instructions a couple of times you know, unfortunately with men they don't like reading instructions too much but unfortunately you have to do it with this one so I'll hook it up and I'll sort of um, just go through just an easy setup. This one's already preset, but I'll just sort of show you how it um, how she sets up. And then... All right, so I've just got to hooked up the um, positive and negative just to there. So so that's it there. Oh, I'll show you. Still got the plastic on there. Actually, I might take the plastic off that sort of thing. I think that's one of the joys, isn't it? Taking a little plastic off the screen. So it's got a little button here, just where the thumb is. That there, you just scroll through your your percentage, and just on the back of it, there's a little black button just right in there. That one right in the thumb. Now what you need to do is when you initially fire it up hold that little button down with your thumb or your finger it's a little bit fiddly I'll do it this way and plug this thing in which will get you into the settings mode So what you do is you hold that one down with your finger and plug that one in and then it'll start sort of flashing. So now there's three levels, there's P which is if you, if you let go of it now and that little back button on the back you change it and we'll go to L which is lithium ion your P which is your lead acid so they can be used you know for your wet cells your AGMs etc and F which is your um, LiPo4 battery so once you've done that and that's essentially set to the lithium that these guys use you press on the front one which will give you how many cells. Now they recommend, um, if you have a look through the instructions on I think the AGM you can set through either um, 12, 24 volt um, but see that scrolls down to 3, you can press the button on the back and that will give you 4. So for any of the lithium batteries that are 12 volt, um, certainly with the iTech ones you set it into into four there. Now the other thing you can do is once I think you hold this one down for five seconds or thereabouts and it will give you an S. So there's S1, S2, S3, 4 and 5. Um, so the S1 there is so you can change that and if you have a look at the bars, I'll get that focus, the bar on the left, when it's black full, that means it's on. When it's when you turn it off with that front toggle switch, it means it comes off. So 
That one is, and I've got it to off, which essentially automatic alternates between your percentage and your voltage every two seconds. So if you press the button on the back, that'll get you into S2, which is a sleep mode, which I've got sort of that one set at. So you can either, again, that's off, that's on. So it'll turn off after 10 seconds. Your S, you press the, that little toggle on the back, will get you into S3, which is your backlights. So that's on or off. So that's on at the moment. So if you turn it off, yeah, and the little bar's gone off there, that means your yeah, backlighting's gone off. Turn it back on, that's your backlighting on. S4 isn't use, and S5 is your battery profile. So what they say with this one, uh, with the iTech batteries in particular, um, is to turn that function off so that gives you a proper reading. So, and that's it. She's all set. Uh, what you do to do now is power it off. I have, and then once you power it back on, through there, I won't click it in properly. There you go. It gives you your percentage, also shown in the bars. That's it. Uh, whoop. So back on, 100%. Actually, I'll click it in properly. So that turns up. Now you can turn it sort of on and off as you please. And that just keeps your settings there now. That's showing a battery voltage of 13.3 and a percentage of 100%. So, there you go. Once you get used to it, it's um, pretty easy to do. So like you said, you can turn it on and off, and you can, the two functions there, you can sort of scroll between what you want, your percentage or your voltage. Like I said, with lithium, you've got to use the percentage because your voltage will stay constant. It'll stay at 13.3, 13 volts till it gets about 80, 90%, and then it'll sort of fall off a cliff from there. It'll start going down real fast. So that's not a real good indication of how much capacity you've got left in your battery, you really need to work into one of these. And I mean, these aren't bad. That was, I think, uh, $49, got another sort of 10% off. Um, I buy all these, all of my reviews, uh, something that I'm interested in, I buy them all myself. There's no sponsors, nothing like that. It's just, these videos are just the gear that I use, that I fully pay for and just give everyone a bit of a look of what they're all about and how you do it so what i'll do on the next one is um i'll take it outside later on and we'll do a bit of cutting in there and i'll sort of just show you sort of how it fits in there what i might do later is i'll turn that off uh, i'll turn that one there off and um i'll recharge it up once this is installed and we'll just sort of see then how it how it works. Alright, thanks guys.